All right, so hey guys, Frisha here, and today we're going to review uh, all of the cards in one go. Um, I'm here with um, Microsoft Alfie. Oh, I mean Mana Search Alfie. Um, <laughs> How are you, Alfie? <laughs> yeah. how's, how's Xbox? I don't know. <laughs> There's no Bill Gates left to me. I have to wait for him. <laughs> yeah. uh, I can't. It's, it's in the middle of the morning. <laughs> okay. Um, Microsoft Office sounds like an incessant like Cortana, yeah. Anyways, um, so today we're going to review cards. Every card. So it's gonna mm -hmm. be fast. Um, originally, I was gonna make this like an interactive, um, an interactive card review, um, like what Igni usually does. But like, since we are reviewing all the cards at once, I kind of think that's kind of gonna slow things down. So I brought on like an expert here. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. So we're starting on always on four. We're starting on Shadow of Sparta order. So we're doing. Force to neutral, and we're gonna do two force uh, to legendaries to bronze. Okay, so, so we can just do it in order. Okay, so I'm not going to put this on screen because it's a hassle for me because I don't record the screen. I record the window. Our rating system mm -hmm. is. Um, let me read our rating system actually, because um, I don't have it memorized either. So chat, chat, chat. Write this down. Write this down. Chat. Write this down. Our rating system is. X tier on the top, it's meme tier. And then S tier, so there's a difference. X is meme, S is broken, A is staple, B is good, C is too fair, and D is filler. Got that? No, it will be not it will not be in the test. The test will be very different. Anyways, um <laughs> let's just start. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's done. Um, so, our first card. You got the Shall same reason, so. Uh huh. Okay, for, for, for <laughs> Forest Craft Legendary. Forest Craft Legendary, Shamu. right? Shamu and Sama. And Shamu. Yeah, Forest Craft Legendary for. Okay. One spin. So, so, you gotta say the fact? You wanna say the fact or you wanna speed things up? Oh, wait, I haven't turned on the Shadow vs. Mies again. I'm so dumb. Okay. Oh, Hi everyone on <laughs> YouTube. You, now you see me like n unprepared, not recorded. <laughs> you see how no dirty I am. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> very unprepared. The FF way. Anyways, um, yeah. Let me read it real quick. Fanfare. If at least two other cards were played this turn, gain storm. Then if it, if four other cards were played this turn, evolve. And then six other cards, put a Shamu's antics and Shamu's gaze into your hand, and change the cost to one. Okay, what do you think about this card? Shamu's a reminder. Uh, Shamu's active. Until we start, we had to talk about the tokens. Shamu's active is um. the same card we got from Bridget in the games. One deals the damage to Navy Father, restored to health, and the other is just give Navy Father XX equal to the other cards in hand. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get start things off. Um, Shamu and Shama seemed interesting, on the other hand. I think. The, it has a okay effect. It's literally a storm, what a type, one of those type of storm cards in either way. But honestly, I think we're not using this card for the storm. We're using it for, you know, the evolve. The evolve. So on the top of that, that's go art right there. The cards? The tokens? And, and of course... Mm, oh, the to no, I meant to say the card itself, the legendary. The oh, tokens, the... it's just fine. Yeah, it's uh, literally you... from the same same part as the bridge of the sky. I already talk about it. It's the so, X damage to enemy. Probably the other one's just the two. So this is probably like um something you'd play to like chip damage or like um finish off that little bit of damage left by playing mm -hmm. um the storm of all right. Probably that's the main mm -hmm. use. Honestly, I don't think the six doesn't matter too much. I think it's yeah, I it's, think it's, it's a nice addition, matter. but. But the only matters is the evolve, which, if in case you want to know, evil force is still existing, and mm -hmm. I think this ah, one, true, yeah, true, you can true, play true, this. True. You can play, you know, the evolve Where bounce again, play it again, same as the fairy dragon. Oh, thank you for and following. You can, it's and of Zeus, and in Zen Zeus, we can be him summon Lucifer more early. 
Wait, so you SV, aren't you formerly known as Mint Candy? Thank you for following. It's not Tuzu. Is it, isn't it Suyu? Suyu? I think. Isn't it Suyu? Suyu. It's Suyu, my bad. <laughs> See, Mint Candy, if you were named Mint Candy, we would have an easier time. You would have a more, like, easier name to call. Anyways. Um, yeah. So... <laughs> okay, because we don't have the poll here, why don't we just rate it, like, 1 to ten, one to 5? Or meme? Why do you rate this card from 1 to 5? Like, 1 being the worst, 5 being the best. Um... I think this card's okay at best. Maybe, you know, like, you know, maybe Evil Forest will be a thing. I don't think this will be used mostly for aggro and stuff, but I think it's okay enough. Yeah. So I think this should be like a maybe a three. It's too, it's too hard to decide if this card's gonna be stronger or not. Yeah, true. It's one of those cards that like can be a nothing sandwich or like could be like a super key card in like a meta deck, I think. Depending on yeah, the situation, true. yeah. Okay, well, we have a lot of cards to um, we have a lot of cards to like um, go through. It, so let's move on to the next one. Yeah. Right. I think this is the more the more interesting Yeehaw. one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're starting with the we're starting with cowboys, baby. Yeah, Luxus Homestead Pioneer. Okay, it's a ward that plays with amulets. Whenever an amulet comes into play, recover one play point during your turn. Whenever an allied amulet leaves play, randomly summon one of the one of the vehicles. Hmm. Mm -hmm. so, to this. Uh, I guess you want me to say the tokens because we had to, so we not repeat this. <laughs> oh yeah, right. We should we should actually like um, look at the tokens just because so, they show up so much. Yes. Yeah, so, that's it. That's it. Yeah, we don't want to mention this too much, so let's just, uh, let's just get it that way. To the first speed is a during your turn when an ally fighter comes in play, give it plus stats and vanish. The other one's the same thing, but it has the instead is to attack and rush. And then rush. the other one is just gives one plus one plus three and ward and then vanish. Both of them has the same type as vanish. Mm -hmm. So it's basically buffing. So I've noticed yeah, that they've given Forest a lot of like they've given Forest a lot of like um like this vehicle support I've seen. Mm -hmm. In terms of like just amulets and like what amulets are gonna on Forest gonna use except these vehicles, right? So yeah. what do you think about this one? Pudding is saying yes. it's meme. <laughs> it, it, I mean it's just too little too Fair, honestly, I think it's okay at best. It's ward, it's okay, and then then get a one play point seems. And one of play course, point in forest is, is like. Mm. It's like I mean, mean, if it was two or two, if it was two, it could be better. But I think it'll be a bit too good. I think it's just it's just meh. There's just nothing too exciting and something about about this. It's just there's nothing much to do. It, it kind of it kind of cycles your word. it kind of cycles your amulets, right? Yeah, those cycles your amulets, which only ones. No, it's it's each time leads an amulet. Okay, never mind. I think the problem it's with this card fine. is like, I think the problem with this card is like, even if like the amulet like vehicle that come uh, like, even in an in a meta like let's hypothetically say there's a meta vehicle amulet deck. I think this would just be mm -hmm. okay. Like even there, it's just okay. I think just pretty okay. Like it's just fine. I think it's just yeah. too fair. I don't think it's gonna be that great. Yeah, I don't think I don't even think like this is a meme. I think this is like a two. I like, yeah a two. Maybe. It's just too fair too. <laughs> yeah, it's like a low three, like a two. Yeah. Okay. I don't think, I, don't think it, I, I still don't think he's not gonna see much play. It's just meh. I just rather play like like my meh. And at least that's something you do with it. It's a kind of card that, like, uh, when rotation doesn't have good cards for the class, you'd play just because there's nothing better. Probably. Yeah, it could be that. I mean, it's fine. Oh no, I don't think there's just there's just nothing to talk about this besides being too fair. I think I think this is the same, except like for the accelerate. This, the accelerate is actually pretty good for giant pastures. So mm -hmm. we're moving on to giant pasture, giant pastures. Yeah. I think the accelerate is pretty good, but the fanfare is yeah, like. Yeah, some extreme, Steven. Some yeah. is nice. 
Yeah, the accelerate is pretty um, good. Like, um, if you're playing like a Excel Forest, like a Roach Excel Forest or something, like the accelerate can like buff your stuff. Like you can, it can even buff, buff Roach if you want to. So. Oh, Roach just rotated out, by the way. Oh really? Oh my god. Yes, I'm it's an from idiot. Rebirth. I always forget what we lose in Rebirth. Wait, we lose Roach? We lose Olana? What? Yeah, we lose <laughs> oh a lot of good cards and then it's either much class, either much oh my god, class I saw This is gonna be hard anything. then. This is gonna be hard then because like a lot of like our type definers are in are in ROG. <laughs> yep, sadly. Giant okay. Pester is either way fine though. as it is. Yeah, either way though, in like pure Excel for us, whatever that looks like. I think this is fine as an accelerate. As a body, in, I think you like in... All I'm gonna say, the Fairfield is just a night, a better night prowl, I guess. Yeah, I think, um, I think the fanfare is like something that you do like it wouldn't be your first choice of play. Something like no, that. No, no, no. You mostly get like if you can play this, you mostly get play the accelerate effect. Yeah. There's just nothing to do with the Fairfield effect. It's the impossible. Fan, I think the fanfare is like situational. Sometimes you use it when you're desperate or something, but you mostly want yeah. to use the accelerate. Yeah, you're mostly gonna use accelerate. Either so, way, I, so I think this don't is a three. Think mm -hmm. I need to see. We need to see more if accelerate force becomes a thing with this. So yeah. without Roach, we have to see what's gonna happen next in Forest because literally the only good thing about Forest is literally Roach. Yeah, it's been like Roach has been like carrying the crap for so long right now. Yes, that's the problem. So, really. Yeah. Like, so either way, I think. This is... I can, I can put a 3 and be fine with it. I mean, I guess you could play it in Axel Evo Forest for Chipper Skipper, but like... You know. Yeah, I don't think it would be good enough. I mean, it, it does. I, I don't think Skipper gets the, the most on speed. I, think. I don't think so, but um, the fighter might. Hmm, okay. That's okay. That's interesting. Well, you know, I think it's just fun as it is. It's, yeah. It throws just better cards. Okay, so way, here's... This... Yeah, I think that's a 3, probably. Are you gonna move yeah. on? Yeah, Tsukuka. Tsukuna. Tsukuka. <laughs> You're always so bad with it. names. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Wait, let me check the stream. Is this being okay? Is this okay? Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay. Um, so, um, Sukuna, Mighty Malatir, amazing card pudding, um, you think so? What do you mm -hmm. think, Alfie? Yeah. It's just a fair, it's just a, it's just a fair Riley, it, because it does have the difference. That's <laughs> a very big word there. Mm -hmm. It's just a fair, I mean, it's okay, I'm best. I, eh. I mean, you can evolve this, so you're not play this turn two, like, you can just curve it out and play this so you have to play this on four to always evolve it mm -hmm. and these and you know the strike effect on Lebo doesn't seem to be amazing enough i think it, it, i think the, it hurts a lot because it says different with different names so i think that does effort a lot more to the card yeah and uh, not having a boost to the attack is kind of painful i mean you'll, it's you'll probably get this to... like you'll probably get this like five like five attacks. Yeah, mostly five because you're mostly gonna play the whole five. Am I crazy? I think there's other amulets. Am I crazy mm -hmm. or am I like seeing like Evo Amulet Temple Forest with like Lucifer? Like, I mean, it's, a, it's a free roll, but amulet, I'm kind of seeing it. it. Actually, it doesn't see. You can see it. I just don't think myself. I think it's just a fair Riley, I guess, and I'd rather just bounce Fairy Dragon than worse my uh, wait uh, wait my time for. Your turn four play this. I think the unknown factor is here, like um how much does the how much does the like the vehicle buffs matter? It's like a bit of an unknown mm -hmm. factor here. You, yeah you could say that it could also matter because if you play this like part like bullet bike it could do better. Yeah imagine like all of these like tempo cards that like fit into like um an amulet forest shell all of them are gonna need to be going to be buffed. So you kind of have to yeah, like take yeah. that into account too, but like the problem is you don't know how consistent that will be. Mm. The question is you have to wait and see if we can get easily the vehicles, you know, summon them and then play true, this. True, 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 true. I think it has potential. I do think this... 
it has potential, but I just don't see it at the moment. Maybe if they release a bit more amulets in the future, I could see it more play. But out there overall, I think it's that amazing at the moment. So you're also giving it a 3? Three? 3 is basically our Igni, like, maybe, so, like, we're just being maybe Andy's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just 3 for me. I'm it's giving it a high 3, maybe a low 4, I think, because just Storm, like, this could mm -hmm. fit into a few decks, like, yeah. even just a f the free Storm, I think. So, okay, yep. going yep. to the Silvers, oh, we gotta speed up a bit. <laughs> Slightly. Um, yeah, definitely. Okay, so let's, get, let's, get, let's go to the Sukuna Carmine. It's a Carmine. Accelerate 1. Deal 3 damage to a random follower. So it's not a random enemy follower. And whenever you play this card using its accelerate effect, destroy another random follower. So, um, the accelerate, what do you think? Alfie? You just left. Huh? What? The call has left. I thought you left. Did I leave you? It might be my internet hiccuping. Anyways, um, okay. what, um, what's the accelerate? Do you think? This uh, accelerate is. It's. I mean, it's it's a one cost deal or damage random. It's not too bad. I think if there's a, it's a better pure shot angel at best. Yeah. Which is, if you the know, problem, the same effect. The problem is it's a bit random, so you can't use this while you're ahead on board, like, it's too risky. Yeah, you cannot yeah. target with this, so... I mean, it's not, it's not similar to... it's similar to Leone, but, uh, but Leone has a condition, which is not that hard. Yeah, and this, this, can, this can hit your own followers, Alfie. That's the problem. Yeah, definitely. This is the problem. Well, yeah, 3 damage is cool, but again, this hits anyone, sadly. I mean, overall, I think this is just... No, but the funny thing is, the the the, the whenever you play the server effect, this can destroy your followers as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah, actually, I did not realize that. Yeah, that's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> that's kind I, of funny. I mean, this is just mm, I don't like oh this. I think it's I think it's just I think it's too much. It can actually hurt you. This is it's too much RNG. Yeah, it's, it's just sudden showers, showers on a body, basically. <laughs> okay. It's for five five is meh. I don't think I don't, I don't think the stats work. It's work for the rand orangeiness. I think this is good for take two, probably, if you have a lot of axles. Take take two, yeah. You can just literally play this, and you have nothing. Maybe turn six, and then play a sir. You can just yeah, just that. just kill their Lucifer. Oh, this is an answer to Lucifer. This is also an answer by thinking we'll see like in the competitive side. This might be a tech card actually if Lucifer gets two <laughs> gets two meta. I mean you I mean you just played oh wait you I mean oh, oh wait you cannot target Lucifer. Yeah you can target it. <laughs> oh, oh, see, don't see. So it could happen. <laughs> it could happen. Um but for now I I, but for now it's two this... though. I think. Oh, it's hard to I think it's just too meme ish. Yeah. It's not one, obviously, right. because it's Next still step. like it's still good in like take two and stuff. It's not no, garbage. No, no, no. It does have it does. It is a garbage. It has nothing else. <laughs> okay, right, so Varmint Hunter, summon a dutiful steed. That's the thing that gives you a one-one, and then uh, yeah, like one, the one things that um, give you stats like buff something one-one. Yeah. Um, during your turn, whenever an ally I'm gonna leave play, deal three damage to a random enemy follower, and then deal one damage to an enemy leader. Okay, and then, you and then the evolve and he, it's recovered too. It's just recovered. And the second is the same thing as the London Bolt. I mean, it seems okay. I think it's a decent going hard going hard second card. You just play this, evolve, and then play any two drops and get the and get you know the damage. Yeah, you get the effect. It's okay yeah. at best. It's a two for one like on like turn four, like set going second, mm -hmm. but with like the extra benefit of the buff. For the yeah. two play point thing, I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think it. Mm, the thing is, like, it's if the if the amulet um, tempo thing works out, I think this could be really good. But like, um, yeah. otherwise, I don't think it's. I think it's another high three. Maybe a, I, I don't think it's a four. I think it's a high three. From me, I like, think it's a three as well. I'm it, thinking of it like. I think it could work. Mm -hmm. But the only problem is, I think this card's only good on going second. Oh god, god damn it! What is this? Okay, never mind. 
I click on something. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Scuff, scuff stream, scuff video. Okay, whatever. Okay, so it's a three. Okay. Okay, I think here's... it's still going second card. Yeah. A lot of these cards are cool. like going second cards. I, I, I guess it's kind of like balancing like um, like our last extension, Fortune's Hand. It has so many win cons that mm -hmm. just win you the game if you go first. Especially with like um, yeah, with the world. Like the world combos, like you always win when you can first win with sword and like OTK portal, like it's harder to win second. So I guess this might be like trying to balance it out a bit. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, so anyways, Cross is Thorn. Microsoft it's Tech Alfie is here to help. <laughs> 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 okay, so Summon let's a just fairy. Get this out of the way. It, this is, if it's, at least two more play two, summon two instead. I think it's bad. Allies, it's literally just a branches, but worse. Yeah, it's just worse. I mean, again, it's okay in take two, but like even in take two, it's like remove like it's like two play point like for for removal. It's not that good even in take two. I think this is like our first like five. I, I offer like <laughs> one. I offer like one like um lowest rated card. Five, uh, yeah. Five this is the best. This is just bad, honestly. I think it, it, there's just better cards. If we're playing, maybe if Amethyst can play, even Amethyst won't play this. Amethyst will not play this because it's summon a fairy, not put a fairy in your hand. Yeah, that's the problem, sadly. I think it's so bad. I forgot my own rating system. Yeah, I'm too used to Igni's rating system. Anyways. <laughs> Look out, Al. Let's just speak. Look okay, this... The name and the art <laughs> kind of, The art is actually pretty good, but the name is like... Um, like... Oh. Filler. <laughs> it's like a filler name. <laughs> Anyways, Fanfare, put a fairy um... into your hand. And had and hand six, put two food into your hand instead. Gain two two and recover two play points. Look at just filler, right? This is just... This is just bad. <laughs> I think this is just filler. <laughs> I think this is an easy one. Literally, in chance six, in chance six, get one more fairy. That's uh, j just at this point, just play spirit shrine. <laughs> yeah, and like gain two two, recover two play points. It doesn't have rush, so I can't take advantage of that. Plus two, it, plus two. No, it's it's it. I could only it, I think only play this is a, is a pay two. Uh, it's just a three 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 at best. I don't think this card's that great. It's bad. It has premium stats, but that's it, I think. Um, so yeah, no, oh, no, no. I think it's no, a one. Not even premium. That, that it's a ward one. This card looks bad. <laughs> yeah, easy one. Let's for go that. to the next. Okay, side. you want filler art? I think this is filler art. <laughs> <laughs> Forest patroller. Okay, during your turn, whenever an allied amulet leaves play, draw a card. Transformation doesn't count as leaving play. Ah. This seems okay. I mean, it's okay because it's, it's two least, play points. It's, point, it's two play points, but it, it has three attack, but it only has one. So eh, you have to, you have, but the problem is you have to play like this when you have an amulet and play another way, or just play this when you have a like a steed, bullet bike, or or king carrier. True. It's. Fine, it's better than, I don't know, look at health, I guess. Yeah, it's better, but like, it's not by much. I think this is like a two. Two, 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 two. Yeah. You can use it like as um, support for draw, but... Like, um, it, uh, it, 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 gets, think, it gets... I think there's just... At this point, just play Kokoro. <laughs> true, true, true. But it gets better, though, if you play Cactus Cowboy. Because yeah. Cactus Cowboy, yeah. I think, is actually like an easy like four. Mm. I don't think it's five because it's I not broken. Say, but it's simple but effective. It looks funny. Okay, so I think this card's it look, it look, it's a pretty neat card. It also works with Divine Smithing. That's if yeah. you really care about that. <laughs> I think it's an easy four just because like it's pretty good value as a one. I mean, it also has rush, so this card's fine. Yeah. It's better than rest, and I think it's it could see play. I think it's just it's good enough at the it's like, base. So it's, I it's, think it's it's basically like one play point summon a two devil steed, basically, and also like deal one damage yeah. to a follower. Yeah, but this is I think it's a four as well. Even though I don't think it, I don't think it will play like many decks. I think this card is strong enough by itself. Okay, cool. 
And it can like um, sure. curve no, into like force no. patroller, so. Yep. Okay, um, give no. me like. Give me like three minutes. I'm gonna like turn down my fan and like drink and then we'll continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. God damn it. Alright, I'm back. Um Okay. Hornet Strike. What do you think about this card? Summon three, big bang. It's three play six, point hard to Summon removal. two bang. Mm, I, just break I it. don't. I mean, it's fine. I think it's okay at best. It's mm -hmm. decent. It's hard removal, but any, other than that, is just that. <laughs> I think this is a good like um, utility card. Like if there is a lot of like stuff you want to destroy um, in the meta, I think this could be used. Yep. Especially because it's of the stupid. like the three play point. Like it's it's whatever. It's okay, but the enhanced five I think is very good. It it kills like two indestructible like two followers. For example, like imagine if they put up a board of like two Alaska, somehow like one of the Alaskas right. um, survives. This kills both, right? Yeah, yeah. So but then again, three costs summon a one one with bang. I think it's fine. That's yeah, um, like imagine it as like a three play point, like destroy an enemy follower. Then it becomes kind of better. Than better. I mean, it's I mean, do I mean? I'm not sure. I think this card's fine as is. I just don't think there's just better cards than whatever this is. Yeah, I think it's. it's been... I think it's good, but like it doesn't fit into an archetype. So I think this is more of a tech card. So I think this is like a three. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> We're like maybe I Andy's. think this is a this is maybe a I was gonna give this a low high two, but I think it's okay as a very low two. I think it's just fine as it is. Yeah, it's pretty okay. It would have yeah, been insane in like one um, or two expansions ago, I think. Or something. Yeah, it could work, but I, I think they, this card just offers too little. I think it's just literally just jump three stuff like that. I think there's just meh, it's fine. I mean, if you want to kill Yakasa, I mean, sure, go ahead. <laughs> the 8 is kind of um, meme, though. <laughs> the 8 is kind of meme. I mean, why do you want to give health your Hornet? Tell me why. <laughs> that, makes, that makes no sense. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to Sword. Anyway. Moving on to Sword. Mm -hmm. um, here is the... Um, here is the Bunyan Baron Spectre Duo. Um, yep. the cover, the cover card for this expansion. So, the five, seven, seven. It has the... You gonna say it or do you want me to say it? Oh, you, you can say it. I'll have All a right, drink. Alright, so <laughs> the effect is, uh, the effect is following is a Serrate 1. Put a Desperado shot into your hand. It has Rush, Father to Strike, destroy an enemy father before it can deal any damage in, in return. It has a last word as well, at the start of your turn, next turn, summon a bow, trust the getaway card. Uh, best sweater shops on the bottom, it says here is deal 3 damage to an enemy follower, then if at least have 1 evolution point, you deal 3 damage to a random enemy follower, and at the start of your next turn, summon a bow, trust the getaway card. And then there's the new bow, trust the getaway card, which I had to click because there's just too many effects. The effect as follows. It has Manure, which is the new card, uh, card text, which will be introduced in this set. It has the, it, it can only Manure at cards that cost five costs, or more, at least five costs, or more, obviously. If okay. you actually have Manure, it has Storm, Strike, Randy out three, two different effects. Draw a card, deal two damage to the enemy leader, deal three damage to a random enemy follower, and restore four, restore four health to your leader. That's about it. <laughs> okay, so that's a lot, and I think the o yeah. I think the reason this card is uh, is good, like I think this is an easy five because it does so much. I think. Depends on the situation. Uh, it's a five toss, and we have to talk about cards like Amelia, for example. True, true. The, the problem is the five toss. Yeah. So the so many thing good is. Cards. The, the best part about this card is not a commander, it's an officer. <laughs> oh yeah, we have too many commanders now. Like, it's it's crazy. Yeah, I do think this is good enough at the same very least. 
The problem is, it's fitting this card. I could play, I could say as a one or two off either way. I think it could be good on like stable pet. It, it, cause it does have card removal, but the problem is you need to attack. So you might look for that. And so it, doesn't it does have a lot of effect. It doesn't kill us and the first thing manure. But if we're gonna talk about the other cards like this, but I do shut, it's decent. It does cost evolution point, which you have to be aware of that. And the alt seems pretty decent enough, I can say. Either way, I could see this card as a one-off or two-off, not three in that off. I think it's just too much, too little. Hmm, you think so? Yeah, it's too much. It's a bit, it's good and good though. But I do think it's okay, why it is okay at best. You're already playing Ariel and Amelia, so this could be very hard to play. At the same time, I mean, the you car... Can like, cut... You can also cut like one Ariel for one Bunny and Baron, which could work. One what? What did you say? An to Ariel, Ariel, you can you, you have to run Amelia and Ariel. I meant to say. Okay. Are you, are you okay. No, I, I'm I'm trying to think which one is Ariel. <laughs> the you explain. The oh Ariel, uh, Ariel. Okay, you said Ariel. I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> oh my god! I got hashtag Anala. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah. Well, hearing you say that, I might drop it to a four. But I think like as a card, like in the vacuum, this is so good because it does so much. Like, especially it does with, so much. Like, but the problem is, it's the amount of good cards that does have four and five costs. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Hear me out here. Hear me out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Accelerate one, you put a desperate shot in your hand. Okay. Yeah. So desperate shot is like deal three damage to an enemy follower. And then like And they have one evolution point, it does three damn random damage. And you have the and they have a leader effect at the end of the turn, summon you know the car. Yeah. If you use this to summon a Val like turn four, like turn five you can just run a melee or something and it'll get into the Val. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> It's funny enough. I just think this card's good as a one or two off, but the problem is it's, it's just so much stuff that Sword has that I don't think this card will fit. True. It's one of those problems like um, with... Sh Actually, Sword had this with like eight costs, right? Recently. Now it's like back to five costs. It used to be like Sword ran like 25 costs or something because all of them were good. You know, in yeah. the old days. It's starting to look yeah, like yeah. that again. <laughs> Either way, Sword has the curse of bad, having bad 7 costs, this is the same. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, I, I, I think I read that 4, I think. It's still good in a vacuum, I think. Yeah, yeah. 4, I think it's nice. I don't think it's staple, but tech-wise, I think it's pretty good. Okay, not nods. Cursed Queen. Okay, at Cursed first... Queen. At first, I was kind of like... Oh my god, this doesn't have enough flavor, like, where is the box that kills people? But at the same time, it's like, they, she summons, like, her henchmen on the other side of the field, and then she punches them to get more people. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's actually pretty flavorful. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> what I do mean, you think? I already know this card much. I think this card's nice. I think this is one of the costs I think 4 is reason more reasonable than 5. The only car four cards you can play is either Pro in general, which is not that amazing at, at the moment, and you know our boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, that's Alaska. This but is more re. And this... also, but mostly you can play this for the six cost effects. It's, I think the six cost is really strong enough, and it also the Tyrant Order can target cards, so you can target also amulets. Hmm. Oh yeah, you can target amulets too. I didn't I didn't realize that yep. actually. Yep, this card's good enough at the very least. I think this card's strong enough to maybe actually fit better compared to Bar Bunny and Baron because this has better cost to play. Yeah, it ha it it has a better slot to fit into. I think um, you can play it for a six for like a free mm -hmm. evolve too. Um, I think this is like. Um, yeah. But going first, if you if you're going first and then like, if you're going first, do you play this on four? I don't think so. No. 
what. Yeah, I think um, that's the main maybe problem. Maybe if it's, I mean, I mean, it's, I'd rather play this than yeah, Al Yak, Al Yak, um, fuck, I could say. Right? Al Yaska <laughs> on four? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, true, true, true. I think it's like. I'd rather play this than that. Sword has. I mean, getting a time order is fine. Sword does not have, like, a, a great turn for going first, I think. <laughs> This is better than him, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because you get at least a zero play point that can kill people, I think, but... Yeah, I think... But then again, yeah. But I think I don't think this is it's broken, fine, though. I, I don't, I I don't think, think it's broken. Pretty good. I think this is far. I don't think it's broken. I still think we'll see play. I think I think this will see play. I think four cost is more reasonable than five, and... I'm definitely admitting a place of this four. Yeah, okay. Cool. Another five cost, another pretty good five cost. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, sword sword means like counting to five again. Like this is like SFL again, all over again. <laughs> okay, right heart no, the deathless. He... Yeah, it has revolved three times. This match evolved as Falder, and whenever, and of course we're not. I'm gonna like talk. I'm just gonna talk with the evolve effect because the it's gonna be the same thing except the. Uh, other effect which when this card is, it has deal that you know it got damage and it's destroyed it heal completely plus one and if it, if, it, if it's already evolved it will heal you later as well equal to you know how many damage hmm okay that's pretty good for controlling an like, example i think but like does it like yep i rather as we said right, like so the, the five cost is very is competitive this is an easy condition to do. Like, I don't know, like they what did they think about three? Uh, that's the that's the only number I don't want to see. Mhm. Mm and I mean, this is great, I mean, but I think I think this is better than looks like because it does more. <laughs> it does. Um, it does better than Ariad. I think it can replace Ariad. I think. But... Yeah, this is it. Just does better. Yeah, it and also that you can get all another that you can get this card with ward to make it worse. <laughs> oh yeah, because of the carrier. Yeah, yeah. this makes That's it actually very, very annoying. complicated to deal with. Yeah, very yeah, annoying. This could be this could be a very annoying card to deal with. I mean, it still loses to cards like Bane or Hard Removal. Yeah, yeah. It, it can it's... be targeted. It doesn't have any protection, so I think it's so far. Mm, I want to give a five that badly, but I think if I don't think it's that broken at the moment, I think it's a high four, definitely high four, close to a five. It's close to a five. the The thing I see with this is like, if Control Haven is it like again, I've I seen this in like Ignis card review, like against certain decks, like decks that like to tempo out. This is like devastating, but like if you're fighting against Control Haven or something. But like it doesn't matter, <laughs> so it has a bit of a polarizing, um, polarizing matchups with some things. Yeah. Okay. That's true. But that can be like a high I four, maybe five. True. Okay. Two. Continuing Two on because one. this is taking a bit. <laughs> um, graceful maneuver. <laughs> Given allied follower strike. Okay, this is like a five, I think, because purely because of Kagemitsu, I think. Kagemitsu. Um. The depends in the situation. I don't think, I think this part, the problem is you still need to target something and Draco seems a bit too costly, honestly. Really? You think so? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, either way, you don't want to target this kind of meat too early. You want to target this cards like cards like uh, Reinhardt or self Pass, for example. You're, you want cards you want to stay on board and not have like one effect. It does have potential, honestly. I do think this card is decent as a tech-wise. It's maybe one-off, and you can play cards like Kagamitsu, Reinhardt, the that mess, and for self pass. Yeah, I which think. I think. Do you think Reinhardt? I think definitely. Mm -hmm. Like, if like you have a like board-heavy like meta, you definitely put this mm -hmm. in. I think. Definitely. But, uh, I do. I do think this is more better on Reinhardt than Kagamitsu. Guess Reinhardt is a lot harder to kill. Yeah, but Kagimitsu can like clear huge boards. That's what the that, end for free. Like you get you play three play points for on the on like um a free follower basically. That's what I'm getting at. But... I think that's kind of true. I do think I don't think this is an easy five for me. I think it can be better, 
Mm. It does have potential, yeah. and I think it's good I, enough. I think if it's it any cheaper, still, it's kind of broken, though. True, true. I still gotta give this sadly a part. <laughs> okay. I think okay. It, there's just better. I think it's, I think kind, it's, of, it's kind of a low five, I think. Um, But yeah, I can yep. see that. I don't think it's that broken. Honestly. I think it depends on the meta, I think. Oh, so the... Yep. Definitely. Now. Out to the next card. Outlaw Gunner. Okay, Rally 3. Choose a summon boat bike or arcane personal carrier. Well, this is easily, easy enough to get to be fit on Evil. I think getting Rally 5 and, you know, this is the other card. Rally 5 is very right easy. Card. Yeah. Rally 5 is yeah. very easy. And you can combine, and you can get the arc. You're mostly going to get this for arcane personal carrier, so you can get Reinhardt. Get more earlier. Yeah, so, what do you think? Um. I think this card's just pretty damn good for the deck. I do think this will fit on a lot of decks. I think that you're definitely gonna play this as a three off. It's just easy and yeah, because we, we got cards like summons so easily cards. So I do think this card's a lot better. Yeah. So I do think this is. I want. I want to say five, maybe. Yeah, five. I think this card's really strong. Do you play? Um. Do you still play like uh, the Lance, the Lancer? If you play this. Lancer and Geld. It's an you, you always you always play Lancer, Geld, I, mean, I think, but like Lancer. You, you, Lancer is a one off or two off, but I think you if you really need, if you wanna counter the mirror match, I do think Lancer is kind of better in some ways. Yeah, purely because I think like you will have a choice of like running Lady of Lance or this. I think it's a four, not a five. I mean, and that's kind of true as well. You're probably gonna run. Like you're probably gonna run 100% not not rock for the bear matches. So I think this card's probably for this high four for that positive guy. This guy's really strong. Okay, cool. Stalwart Slinger, <laughs> kind of a filler <laughs> art, but um, if you have at least two yeah. commander cards in your hand, gain plus one plus one on. What's on each of returns when this follower at attack for defense is increased? So it increases itself, so that's easy to proc. Deals 3 damage or not. This is pretty garbage. <laughs> just play Burning and Baron and yeah. forget about this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is an easy one, I think. There's literally nothing to play well besides it. Even, Ooh, even in Take 2, even in Take 2, it's like you. Even in Take 2, you have so many, so many better options, I think, so. At this point, it's like Burning Baron. That's a part in this. <laughs> Okay. What's that? Dramatic Retreat. Dramatic Retreat. Banish an allied follower. Okay, that's new. Put a copy of that follower into your deck and change its cost zero. Draw two cards. Oh, one play this point. Draw two cards. <laughs> this card is stupid. There is a lot of things you can do with this card, and it's scary. And also, you can bounce your world back. Oh, you, yeah. That's true. Play. That's true. That's true. Oh, yeah. The scary part of this is like, actually, there's no play point restriction. So you could banish a huge card, actually. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. You can this banish. This card is stupid. This card is stupid. I'm sorry. I'm going to agree with five. This card is absolutely stupid. Okay. Even like ignoring the change its cost to zero, like you banish, like, um, this is basically like a shadow, like, a shadow staple basically like so it's already pretty mm -hmm. good like just banish an allied follower and draw two cards but add the effect of like you can recycle like um uh you know a zelgonia or like even like a fear on if like you feel it's in danger or something like back mm -hmm. into the deck and cost it zero <laughs> so like even if you want to recycle an aliaska if you feel like you need an aliaska later you get it for zero <laughs> so i think yeah, this, pretty, this is an easy five i think what do you think, Chad? By the way, I haven't, I haven't been, I haven't, I haven't been asking Chad. <laughs> what do you think, Chad? <laughs> here's, the, here's the problem when I don't when I ask Chad. My chat is not like ninety people like Igni, so they do they don't they take a while to say something. <laughs> this is why I don't ask Chad. <laughs> Anyways, Chad, if you have any yeah. thoughts. <laughs> If you have any chat, I mean, if you have any thoughts, like just write one, two, three, four, five. How about this? One, two, three, four, five. And if you think it's a meme, press X. Okay. Yep. Okay. No, so, of course you love it, Sin Lucia. Right. You're a sword main. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, frontline instructor. 
Fanfare, give plus one plus one to an allied officer follower. Rally 10, give plus one plus one to an allied officer follower instead. I think this is one. I don't know. Um, what do you think? The rally is interesting, but... Just play turn two, phalanx, turn three, gate, uh, bay monster command. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's good. I think like it's one. What do you Literally, think? I'd rather play... I'd rather play turn two, phalanx, than turn three, bay on command and play this. It does more. <laughs> like for the rally 10, you get a free um, Fieran that does that anyways, so... This, um, at this point, just play Stage Commander. Yeah, this is like... This is like bad Fieran. <laughs> This is like worse fear. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give it a one. No, no, no. At this point, I just rather at this point, I just rather play Sage Commander. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, but true. It's okay, good. it's it's meh. I think it's one. I think it's, it's garbage. Meh. Yeah, I think it's bad. Alright, okay. the next card. Okay, okay. Here's how you here's how you judge something is garbage. Would you be happy to to pick it in take two? Like if you were like, eh, whatever, pick it and take two. That means it. That means I mean, it's garbage. Premium stats. <laughs> I just rather play Delph. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how you know it's garbage or not. <laughs> Next card. Next card. Nox henchman. Fanfare. Put a beautiful steed into your hand. Into your hand. It doesn't summon it. Last word. Summon an enemy still clad knight. So it's going first. You don't care that it summons a still clad knight. It's a hard one. First card. <laughs> You play this, this go is... for three, and you don't care if they kill it for the night because you're just going face, probably. I mean, you're giving your opponent a free, a free two two, and it's points rally. Eh, it's okay. I think summoning. I think. I think for stat wise, for three three. I think this is actually an X. I think this. Is, I think this is actually a meme. I think this is a meme for like aggro sword. <laughs> I mean, if Agrosol becomes a like, Mario Battle Sword becomes a thing, maybe we can talk about that. I don't think. Okay, like seriously, this card is not enough. Like seriously speaking, I think. It's I think it's, I th seriously speaking, I think it's a two. But like, um, it's, like the meme rating is is an X. I think it's a meme for like if you want to make Agrosort, I think. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you can play Mario Banner. Sure, go ahead. And Sid Lucia says <laughs> X, and he's the sword main. Okay, we'll go with X then. It's a meme. Okay. <laughs> It's kind of funny, it's kind of Mimi too, that like, um, her, their boss summons them and then kills them. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's <laughs> it's kind true. of funny. I mean, it feels bad. Something has to do, some, someone, has to decide, someone has to clean up the work. <laughs> exactly, too. I don't think, think this card's meh. Either way, I'm not gonna play this on, like, constructed sword. The, the Tanuki? Tanuki! Ambush. Once on each of your turns when followers attack or defense is increased by an effect. Uh, I think this is also one. Remember, frog. <laughs> Remember, frog. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, it doesn't regain ambush. Oh, it does. Nah. It only does. Remember, frog. This is him. I mean, it's just. I don't know. It's Let's a play one. Quick it's at this one. point. Yeah, it's a one, I think. It's a one. Let's play quick player at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's a. It's, it's not even a meme. Just, it's not even a good meme. <laughs> so I think it's a one. Just play. Uh, I think it's meh. I just meh. All right. Oh, no, for the next one. <laughs> We're kind of like blazing through a bit. Um. Oh, it's really fun when it's like just bad. <laughs> Cause like we can just skip it. Yep. <laughs> um. Banded raid. Summon a thief and give it rush. Enhance three. Enhance five. Summon two instead. By the way, Thief is the class draw card. It's I think I think this is take two. It's um it's a two because it could it's good. This in is take two. literally just for take two. Yeah. Um, you're not I gonna play this. You're yeah. not gonna play this. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's garbage, but because you can use it in take two. But like yeah, for constructor for constructed it's one, but for take two it's pretty good. It's like a three. I don't think it's still. I think it's two either way. I think it's decent enough. True. It true. Made me play one Okay. It's fine. I don't think. I think those are just better cards. Move on to everyone's favorite class, Runecraft. Um... Uh, <laughs> yeehaw, we're going, we're going yeehaw. cowboy this time. Okay, Mazer, neighborhood right. hero. That's how you say it, like Mazer. Yeah, Mazer, Mazer, neighborhood hero. Oh uh, yeah. You're gonna take. I'm gonna say this in an accent. Your turn. When an allied amulet leaves <laughs> play, put a rapid fire into your hand. Vibration doesn't count as saving play. The evolved puts a rapid fire into your hand. Ooh. 
that's strong. Must attract one for the cause of all rapid fire is in your hand. And rapid fire you have the effect. Deal three damage to any other. <laughs> then if you play at least three other rapid fire dispatch, deal two damage to the enemy the whole smell. Okay, so this card is literally just a better goblin and you definitely gotta play this on cards that we were gonna say right now. Just, either way this goes Tudor with the card gold we're gonna talk about later. It's a damn good card. It's a really good card. Um, so rapid fire, just so people know, it's a deal three damage to enemy, and uh, to an enemy follower, and then deal, and then if you play three of these, you deal two damage to the enemy leader. So it's actually pr really good. Um, uh, yeah, that, I think this card is very really good, and actually is tutorable with magical gunsmith. Oh, really? I don't even know what magical gunsmith is. Which one is that? Uh, the... I mean, no, wait, no, that's the Board of Crap. I forgot the other name. What? The... Isn't that the thing? The, the... The... Gunslinger. It's Gunslinger. Gunslinger. I thought, like, yeah, I was like, <laughs> yes, is it, isn't Magical Gunsmith the one that pulls Machina in, like, oh no, my artifacts in, like, no, no, Portal? No, never mind. Forget, <laughs> forget, forget what I'm saying. I keep forgetting it's Gunslinger. <laughs> Either my way, I think are, this card People are good. saying five. Maybe not in... But the problem is, I don't think this card is good in spell boost because you still need to play amulets. I think it's its own archetype. I think either you play this in kind of dirt because it says amulets, it doesn't say like vehicles, or you like yep. um, make its own arch archetype, which I guess um, fits in nicely with like his boss, Vincent. So Vincent, yep. oh my god, this card text. Alfie, do you want to read this? <laughs> okay, sure. Alright, so let's start with that. So, of course, it mentions the 4 for 4 and the effect as follows. When this card follower attack or defense is increased by an effect, gain the ability to evolve for 0. Um, when you evolve, you evolve the final effect during your turn. Whenever an ally follower attack or defense is increased by an effect, could X word word down to name, which is up to 3 times per turn. X is equal to the number of followers who attack or defense was increased by that effect. And whenever this you play a card, and when you play a spell, my bad, if it's the third, 6, 9, 12, or 5th, or 18 for some damn reason, of uh, the same name you play this you play this match, deal the damage to enemy father, the card just yeah, cannot be stacked, and of course what a Dutchman, we don't all effect on an enemy father except the attack of defense, and if you have an amulet, it, it will recover your play points for free. Okay. <sighs> That's a lot. <laughs> but, Let's That's be like Yu Gi Oh! Text. That's like Yu Gi Oh! Text. It's good, it's good, it's good on the art type, but let's be real. This is just a spell boost card. <laughs> I think spell boost would just want like the extra one, like the extra spells. And, I yeah, I could play this as a one of them spell boost, but what mm. eh, a document is. Scary. Here's the um, thing, for me, can't... even in dirt, it's kind of weird, so, like, at least, like, with Mazer... No, no, I'd, I'd, I'd rather not play this on dirt. <laughs> yeah, like, even in Mazer, you can kind of see him play, play it in dirt, kind of, if you really want to. Yep. But with this, with Vincent, you have to play it in, in Mizer. I think it's, like, a meme, actually. I think it's an X. No, 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 no. What, what you mad? Um, I still think this card is strong enough. I do think the do you think so? archetype can be playable. I think it's, I think it's strong enough. I think it's strong. It, if the archetype is good, this is a 5. But like, if the archetype is like, meh, I think this is an X. That's how I, I that's how still I it. think this card is a low 4. I think it has, it has high potential and it can actually be abused. So be aware of that. True, true. Like, people have um, ways of abusing cards, I guess, but... Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess I can agree with you with that. I just no, think it's an X because I'm, more... I'm like the more I think There's of it, some... like the more I think of it, like if this like is if it has like a super easy way to like loop, I think this archetype is broken. I think it's a five for each one of these um followers. But like the more I think of it, like buffing yeah. followers in rune, I'm not sure how consistent <laughs> you're gonna get all of those spells. <laughs> it's fine. I think that I think it's a pretty good card either way. I do think it's gonna see play. I think it's gonna see play, but it's not going to. I, th I think it's not going to see its full potential immediately. I think. All right, let's go to the next card. What should what should become broken and like win like win the war GP and then people like clip this, <laughs> tell me like, oh you thought it was a meme. <laughs> it was a meme. Oh my God. Pudding would definitely do that. <laughs> Yep. I'm calling you out, Pudding. 
Anyways, let's go to anyways, magical, this is magical gunslinger. Magical gunslinger. Fanfare. <laughs> Pudding says 100%. <laughs> okay, magical gunslinger. <laughs> Fanfare, put a random follower without fanfare. Okay, so this is the um, Vin uh, the Vincent Tutor. Tutor for Vincent and Miser. And put a dutiful steed in your hand. Okay, so the dutiful steed might be like a good trigger for like. Don't forget the evolve, which has fail to damage to an enemy. Uh, is that relevant, I mean, do you think? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you have lethal for two? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, true. I think the, the good part is that it's enemy, it's not enemy follower, so it, it's not just a two for one, it's also like, yeah, like you said, it can chip yeah, for no, a two. If, said, you, yeah. if you have two for game, there it is, it's nice. I mean, it's two, it can, you can sort of cards with Visor and Vincent, so I think this card is definitely going to be play in that deck. Yeah. Do you think that deck is going to be I mean, a thing, though? I could see it by himself, but the problem is you need amulets to be more consistent. If we if we got cards that are more consistent with the amulet, maybe we'll see play. Because Miser does have a strong wind comp, but you can actually abuse with uh natural uh, natural great tree. Hmm tree. Future tree. Great tree to spam and get rapid fire and then get the above. This is a lot okay at best. I don't think you're gonna play this. Uh, if it, I mean, besides that, uh, let's just look at the bright side. Uh, Spellbus won't play this because most of the Spellbus has the word Spare Bell and Dirt, same as always. I mean, you can tutor Kiaro, but just, just, I'd just rather, I mean, it's just, I'd rather play Princess Knight. Mm, true. Yeah, if it, does, it doesn't tutor Kiaro. Kiaro has, an, has a vampire. Nope. Um, I forgot, I forgot. It can also, mm, yeah. I didn't think about Natura. I think a Natura archetype would be more realistic than a vehicle archetype for this. So I guess that makes Vincent mm -hmm. pretty good with Miser, but yeah, I think even then, in this Vincent this needs to play it. spells, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. A rune is kind of weird. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this like at like a four if it works, and like a three if it doesn't. Four. It's a two. It's a turtle for the archetypes. I think it's good enough. Okay. So this, I think it's very good. I think it's fast. It's like, runs. It's like, kind of like, easier, easier like, uh, what's it called? The Verge Walker. Uh, just because you don't have to evoid Walker. it. Yeah, this one is nice. I do think there. I mean, there is losing which card room, but even without it, I think do think third is still consistent enough. Yeah, dirt has a lot of generators. I think so. I think this is fine. So I don't think I don't I think Witch Corian doesn't seem to be a big loss. This one's just good. It's it's I mean, if you want Levy as a two as a four cost, this is it. Mm, true, true. To be fair, like take, I mean, this it is... takes two arthrites, but like it's pretty easy to do like oh. in this meta with the arthrite, the current arthrite. You generate arthrites like it's nothing. I don't think I think, the, I think you should know yeah. that. Dirt is... It also hit face, so be aware that. <laughs> dirt, dirt doesn't have the dirt doesn't really have like the balancing problem it had like years ago with like earth rights. Yep. So. I do think the lack of dirt problem is not having uh good for costs besides levy when you don't play levy. Yeah, so this is pretty good for that I think, Foss. Yep. Okay, I think it's a, mm -hmm. I think it's a four. Probably yep. for dirt. Artistic Arcanist five play point zero five. Crystallize one, count on three at the end of your turn, give plus one. The stream is brought to you by Raid Biscuit <laughs> Legends. <laughs> Sorry for the lame joke. Thank you, Ignidius, for raiding with 102 viewers. We're <laughs> we're reviewing cards and also <laughs> um, currently recording a YouTube video. <laughs> Say hi, Alfie. Hello. I wonder if like this whole stream, maybe you're not like being included. <laughs> For some reason, like an OBS problem. I never, I'm always the ghost. <laughs> and I've been just talking with myself this whole time. Pudding, <laughs> if I've been talking with myself for this for the first time, then um, please tell me. <laughs> what do you mean, Koku Haku? What do you mean, Koku Haku? You haven't burned <laughs> the points. Oh, thank you, Echo of Noise. Thank you for following. Okay, okay. Back to the card at hand. Thank you, Igni, by the way, for the 100 like raid. 
Okay, crystallize one, yep. count on three. At the end of your turn, give one plus one. Oh, this is pretty good for the, well, for that, um, here. for that, you know, for the amulet like buff deck. I think. Yep. Yeah. Ward, give plus two to a random allied follower. Do this three times. Okay, that's interesting. Um, thank you it's for following, zero, Robigo. But the problem is, it has zero attack, so it can also fail. Welcome, Biscuitier. I mean, it can also target him, so you can play this thank by you, the, itself. It's a 6-5. Thank, thank you for the follow of the first waffle, yeah. I think the Ooh, zero play point Biscuitier. is kind of like, um, sus, I think. <laughs> Especially for 5. I don't think you play this. I, I think you play this for the Crystal Eyes, and that's it, I think. Thank you for the follow of Metro Energy. Do you you're think... mostly gonna play this. Not you're mostly gonna play this for the crystallize. Even though I don't think you, I don't think this is a. Do you play the crystallize? The least, maybe. Do I mean, it's good it? for Vincent, I guess. It's good for the Vincent. Um, it's good for the pure Vincent Miser deck, I think. But do you want to play yeah, pure? That's true. But do you want to play pure Vincent? I mean, that's the question. Uh, depends. Uh, we have to see later if pure Vincent is good enough. But you're definitely gonna play this in there. For the crystallized effect, so okay. you get one of the Dutchmen, one of the Dutchmen are a lot better. Yeah, I think it's a two actually. A two, like if um, if Vincent two. takes, if Vincent takes off, I think it's like a four. But if it doesn't take off, I think it's a two. By the way, for the Ignidius viewers, our our rating system is like one for the worst, five for the best, and X for meme. And so if we say two, mm -hmm. it means it's bad. <laughs> I think it's. Two? I think it's two in general, but like four if Vincent is like a thing. What do you think? Uh, what do you say again? I think it's a two in general, but four if Vincent is, is a thing. What do you think? Mm, I do think it's two and three if Vincent will be good enough. Okay. It's, it's a one curve. You have to you still have to play around with Vincent. You, have, you know, play turn four, Vincent, true, true, and true. Four, turn five. So it's a mostly going first card if you want to get that back. Okay. Okay, moving on because we <laughs> were spending a lot of time here. Go, Marshall. The best card in the set is right here. <laughs> okay, five <laughs> out of five art. But <laughs> let's see the effect. Accelerate <laughs> one, summon a dutiful steed, fanfare, summon an arcane personal carrier, or clay and clay column. Oh, both. That's pretty good. Wait, does the clay column get the power, uh, get the buff from. Arcane personal yes, carrier? Yes, it does. It, it, has order. it does have the right order. Oh, okay, that's cool then. At the end of your turn, summon an arcane personal carrier. Oh, that's pretty good then. For like pure stats, but like seven costs? It's nice, but the problem is you playing turn seven. <laughs> I think this is take two card. I think this is two, take two card. Definitely a really strong take two card, no, no, no. It's a good turn seven play. It's like a, I think this is like a four for take two, but like in constructed, no. One probably so on average probably three, yeah. three or two. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, three, three, three. I think three. It's a, I think it's a pretty neat card. Okay, cool. Um, next, scorching blast. Scorching blast. Deal three damage to an enemy follower. If you have twenty cards or less in your deck, mm -hmm. deal five damage instead and recover one play point. Hmm. It's a two. It's a deal three for two. It's normal, but then you have twenty cards of less in your deck. Deal five damage and record will, like one for five is pretty good. It rune actually gets a, a few like great like twenty cards or less decks in this expansion, which m makes me kind of yep. like hope for the archetype to come to like come good, but I'm not sure. Fine. What do you think? It's fine. I mean, yeah, uh, three damage. I mean, almost every card does that. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's. it's I think it's spell boost. It's good because like, you often draw into like twenty cards or less. Anyways, like a bit late game, and like the mm -hmm. recover one play point, like one, like the one play point three five damage can be like a a clear for your Quan or like. Uh, an extra spell boost for your Rooney, I think. So, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, well, it's fine. It's pretty good enough. Yeah, I, mean... I don't think spell boost would kind of play this. I don't. I think spell boost has more options than this. True. Hmm. 
I think it's a pretty okay card in a vacuum though. So I'm giving it like a three, probably. Oh my god, my model is passing out. Okay, there you go. Two. I don't think this card. I think there's just better options than Sparking Blast, but it has potential either way. It has pretty good potential, I think. Okay, two. The expert says two. This is a competitive player, by the way. Mana Search Alfie. Or Microsoft Alfie. <laughs> Mana search out. Uh, Microsoft Alfie. Microsoft Alfie. <laughs> Microsoft Alfie. Please tell me the rating of this card. I think it's two. I think it's. Two. I think there's just better options in this. Okay, cool. Now this is Vincent's um, lackey, Rav Rivalian deputy. Summon us the mm -hmm. dutiful steed draw card. Again, this is like the pure Vincent support. I think. Ooh, do, you, do you play this in any other deck? Eh, no. Right? Take two. Take two. You only play this in like Pure Vincent, right? Where else would you play this? In... Um, what? Agro... Agro Rune? <laughs> Agro Rune! <laughs> Agro Rune, guys! You heard it... You heard it yourself from Microsoft Alfie. Agro Rune! <laughs> no, that's just like... This card is just Vincent. I don't think they're yeah. that great. Yeah, I think it's a... I think it's a and two, probably. Take... Two, take two. If Vincent is good, it's kind of a three or, a, or like a low four. Three, three. Yeah. yeah, if Vincent's good enough, three. Okay, Mirror Witch. This is a weird card. It has Storm, and it has like great stats for like four, but it summons another one for your enemy. Um. Um. This is very questionable. I this don't is like an this. X. I you think this is an X. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Play this, and then the opponent has the carrier. Oh my goodness! And... I mean, I mean, if you <laughs> if you really want to play this, I guess you can play this and then like and then like play like um, fiery embrace on the enemy one. But like, is that reminder? Worth it? This will trigger anything of uh, the vehicles card, so be aware of that. Igni, this is our own rating system. Shut up. <laughs> I think this is an X. I think this is an X. What do you think? It's not even. It's not even terrible. It's just an X. I think it's a meme. No, no, no. It's beyond me. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want like, to see this. <laughs> this aggro this rune is meme. This beyond mine. This is like YOLO. Uh, I don't nope. care. Aggro rune. <laughs> and then you get. Then you get destroyed because uh, they left an arcane personal power on the field. Yeah, X for me, but. Yeah. It's, it's it's like a one, <laughs> really realistically. Okay, crystal, it's crystal fencer. One. I don't want to. Sorry, I'm not playing this. <laughs> <laughs> it's crystal. F okay, crystal fencer. Yeah. Fan first. Spell boost the cards in your hand. This is what I'm telling you. Like, twenty cards are. X is meme. Like, one is the worst. Igni. Five is the best. X is meme. <laughs> spell boost the cards in your hand. If you have twenty cards or less in your deck, spell boost the cards in your hand five times instead. Okay. Nope, this it carries bunkers. <laughs> you think so? Um getting twenty is super simple. It's um, simple enough. That's really cards like cards like Rooney and you got so many card draws in it, so I think this card has a very easy effect to get to twenty and I think it's hopelessly <laughs> five times is damn strong because of Rooney. Yeah, I, don't, I, I think you don't mind playing this on 3 because it's basically like you play Kyoka on 3 too. Yeah. I think the problem the is like, do you, play this on three. do you want to pollute, like Kyoka? do you want to pollute your like, your pull from the 2 play point spell that, that like, um, pulls a follower from your deck? Do you want to pollute that with this? Mm. That's the problem. Mm, depends, depends. Like that's the entire reason it's... Kyoka is being dropped, right? No, Kyoka's from Ultra Colosseum, so we had still got 6 months for her. No, I mean, no, I mean, that's the reason, like, Kyoka has been, like, a bit dropping off from list. Like, she pollutes the pull for, like, Rooney and Kwan from the follower. You still, uh, I, I think you'd rather play this than Dahlia, for example, honestly. I'd still rather play Kyoka than Dahlia. Yeah, I don't think you were in Daria, but, like, do you, like, pollute it even more with this? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, is this good? But, like, at the same time, I don't think it's, like, um, a staple or anything. I think it's, like... I think this needs to be ex experimented, I think. Yeah, it's fine. I think it's three at the moment. Is it good enough for? Yeah, it's three if it's good enough for. Like, 
if 20 ruin becomes so very easy, I think it's a 5. Because <laughs> this is just like broken. <laughs> the, 20, the 20 effect is like you can easily get, broken. You can easily, easily get 20 in turn 5. Or turn 6 at best if you If you want. Up. If you... If you try your best, I guess. But... Okay, yep. Terra Nova. Um... Terra Nova. Um, someone is like, um, I'm just. I think this is a one. I'm just gonna. <laughs> it's not even a meme. This is just. This is just so worse. It, this is just a like two cost next grand summoning. There is nothing special about this card. And Igni, I we like are. Igni, Igni, we are not doing chat polls because that was that will take too long. We're like um trying to like review the entire set. <laughs> yeah, bye, Kasume. Next time, though. Next it, time. It's, it's, it's just a grand summoning. Yeah, it's the. It's a grand summoning, but it's kind of worse because it doesn't have the like the big, the bigger potential. Yeah. I think that's that. What that was the matter the most. Yeah.